I think this is what my series called Making It is all about. This is exactly the kind of thing that I hope to share with you. I have crocheted for decades, yet I usually use single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet. This is half double crochet herringbone stitch recommended by Kim the Crafty Nomad. She said a long time ago and has said more than once that this stitch is her favorite or one of her favorites and I've watched a short video. I know how to do it and I'm making a swatch. So it's not that I couldn't master the skill, it's that I just kept doing the same thing over and over again, the same stitches I knew, instead of trying something a little bit different. So, half double crochet, herringbone, half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through again, and then yarn over and pull through too. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, pull through again, yarn over and pull through too. So you can yarn over, insert your hook, and pull through too if you kind of hold on to those stitches. You can do that pull through two and then pull through two, or you can do like that. It looks the same either way, but I wanted to see if I could pull it through both of those at the same time, and, and I can. A fun new stitch I've learned, because although I have a mosaic crochet bag in progress, I also like to have something at hand that's simple to work on, that I can have in my hands and work on without, like the mosaic crochet, you have to look at a chart. And even though it's easy to follow the chart and even memorize parts of the chart, it's nice to have something um, that is just the same stitch over and over again. So this is my swatch. I have some, I'm going to say this is kaleidoscope yarn. It is 100% wool. It felt well. And this is a multicolor yarn. My center pole is kind of a center barf, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I think I'll be able to use it. I, I carefully pulled it out of there. Um, it didn't come out as a clump. I was able to pull it out a little bit of yarn at a time. I hope that makes sense. But there's my swatch. The video I watched was... Daisy Farms Crafts, Herringbone Half Double Crochet. And I think I understand, because I'm a, a experienced crocheter, once I'd watched the video, I knew what to do. I love learning new things, so I wonder why I didn't try this before and think of it as a stitch I could use to create a bag. Because with a color changing yarn like this and a repeating stitch, you can work up a project pretty quickly and have a really nice result. So there's a few minutes in the knittery today. I enjoyed it and I hope you did too. Thank you for watching.